Huge new changes just dropped for both Acheron and Aventurine. Acheron's changes, Eidolon 4, Shrined Fire for Mirrored Soul, Old. When using the ultimate, it inflicts ultimate damage vulnerability on all enemies, increasing the ultimate damage taken by 12% and lasting for two turns. New, when using the ultimate, it inflicts ultimate damage vulnerability on all enemies, increasing the ultimate DMG taken by 12% and lasting for three turns. This buff to Acheron's E4 will allow her ultimate to deal more damage for an extra turn. Talent, Red Oni. Old. At the start of battle, immediately gain four points of Slash Dream and apply four stacks of Crimson Knot to a random enemy. New. At the start of battle, immediately gain five points of Slash Dream and apply five stacks of Crimson Knot to a random enemy. By gaining one additional point of Slash Dream at the start of battle, Acheron can unleash her ultimate more quickly than before. Technique Old immediately attacks the enemy. After entering battle, Acheron gains two points of Slash Dream and deals lightning damage equal to 80% of Acheron's attack to all enemies, as well as inflicting two stacks of Crimson Knot on a single random enemy. If the enemy has Red Karma, they will be immediately defeated and will not enter combat. The technique point is not spent if the attack does not hit an enemy. New attacks the enemy. At the start of every wave, lightning damage is dealt to all enemies and reduces their toughness irrespective of their weakness types. When inflicting weakness break, it triggers the lightning weakness break effect, causes Acheron to gain one point of slash dream and inflicts one stack of Crimson Knot on a single random enemy the next time her ultimate is cast. If the enemy has red karma, they will be immediately defeated and will not enter combat. The technique point is not spent if the attack does not hit an enemy. This seems to be a buff because now this technique works for every wave, so if I am not mistaken, it should trigger multiple times in memory of chaos and pure fiction. Decreasing toughness on all enemies, irrespective of their weakness type, makes her similar to Shui as she does colorless damage. Decreasing the stack of Crimson Knot and Slash Dream is a decent compromise since now the technique will be applied during every new wave. Changes to the Ultimate launches three Rain Blades and one Stygian Resurge successively, dealing a maximum of lightning damage equal to 223% up to 446% of Acheron's attack to a single target enemy, and a maximum of lightning damage equal to 180% up to 360% of Acheron's attack to other targets. Rainblade deals lightning damage equal to 14.4% up to 28.8% of Acheron's attack to a single target enemy and removes up to three stacks of Crimson Knot from them. When Crimson Knot is removed, it immediately deals one instance of lightning damage equal to 9% up to 18% of Acheron's attack to all enemies. Each stack of Crimson Knot removed increases this damage multiplier by 36% up to 72%. Stygian Resurge deals lightning damage equal to 72% up to 144% of Acheron's attack to all enemies and removes all stacks of Crimson Knot. During the ultimate, Crimson Knot cannot be inflicted on enemies. This change to Acheron's ultimate seems to just be a rewording of it and is neither a buff nor a nerf. Overall, these changes to Acheron seem to buff her damage capabilities. Now moving on to Aventurine's changes. Eidolon 6, Stag Hunt Game Old. For each ally with shield, the damage dealt by Aventurine increases by 50%. New. For each ally with shield, the damage dealt by Aventurine increases by 50%, up to a maximum increase of 150%. This seems to be a nerf to Aventurine's E6 damage because now his damage only increases up to 150%. It might have been previously possible to deal a higher percentage of damage with this Eidolon. Technique, the red or the black old. After using the technique, one of the following effects will be granted and only the latest effect will be kept. There is a chance for defense to increase by 36%. There is a high chance for defense to increase by 24%. There is a small chance for defense to increase by 60%. After entering the next battle, Aventurine increases defense by the corresponding amount, lasting for two turns. New. After using the technique, one of the following effects will be granted, and only the latest effect will be kept. There is a chance for defense to increase by 24%. There is a high chance for defense to increase by 36%. 
there is a small chance for defense to increase by 60%. After entering the next battle, increase all allies' defense by the corresponding amount, lasting for two turns. This technique change is a buff to Aventurine's shielding capabilities. Aventurine now has a higher chance of increasing defense by 36% than increasing defense by 24% as the probability was flipped. Now, the technique increases all allies' defense instead of solely Aventurine's defense. This is an overall buff because Aventurine can now stack shields quicker by initially having shields on everyone by using his technique and he has a higher likelihood of having a larger shield due to the probability change of receiving a 36% defense increase. These changes should not change your decision on who to pull for in patch 2.1. Speaking of who to pull for, I have a video on who to pull between Acheron and Aventurine on screen now.